And in half an hour, we're going to get an update on what the Fairview fire did overnight and what the plan of attack is for today. You might be able to make out that glow in the hills behind us. Fire crews, of course, working throughout the night. And even though they had stopped the water and retardant drops yesterday at sunset, last night they resumed them. Take a look. And last night, the evacuation order for the Fairview fire was also expanded because the areas in danger, well, they're growing almost as fast as the fire is, which as of last night had burnt over 2,000 acres with only 5% containment. Aerial water and retardant drops continuing through the night and into the morning as those ground crews work so hard in really rough and rugged terrain, trying to slow the progress of the fire. At least seven structures believed to include homes have been destroyed and several others damaged. And sadly, two people have been found dead. It is believed they simply had no time to evacuate. A third person was found with burns and taken to the hospital. Now, there are hundreds of firefighters on the front lines, but additional resources have been called in because the big concern today, and this is important, is a shift in the wind that is expected in addition to those triple-digit temperatures. And bringing it back here live, it was about 74 degrees when we got here just after 3 a.m. It's about 75 now, but later on, those triple-digit temperatures are expected once again, and we could be seeing 103 or 105 degrees here in Hammond. As uh, the news comes in, we will bring it to you live right here on Good Day LA. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you.